Hello, Betty Crosswick here. Uh, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the loss of life expectancy in the U.S. Uh, and also in the U.K. because these seem to be the two um, big powerful countries in uh, the Western world that are losing uh, uh, life expectancies. Um, now, in um, 1960, uh, the U.S. had the uh, highest life expectancy in the whole world, um, but it's not been doing terribly well since then, so I wanted to see if I could find some uh, data that uh, would give us just some glimpse into what was happening with life expectancy before the on, uh, on uh, event of uh, COVID. So I found some stuff from um, uh, the U.S. Um, from 2014. Um, it was the first uh, year of loss of life expectancy. So I went from 2014 to 2017. This was before COVID. And I'm just going to use uh, U.S. stats because, uh, um, well, the, uh, the U.K. is sort of parallel to the U.S., uh, the U.S. stats are the easiest to use, and they, and it has some correlation with the life expectancy uh, of Canada, which I don't have any reliable stati statistics for right now, perhaps later. But um, as 2014 was the first year of the loss, okay, and uh, n and there were no concrete answer to why since uh, um, uh, 2014 um, uh, the uh, rate started going way down. Um, as I mentioned, the, in 1960, the U.S. had the highest um, life expectancy in the entire world. Now it has one of the worst because Canada well, not particularly Canada, later on Canada, the U.S. right now, <clears throat> and the U.K. have the highest rates in the uh, developed world. But um, why, uh, uh, why is this happening? Why had the uh, rates uh, started uh, um, coming down for life expectancy in the U.S. way before COVID. We know that COVID, of course, brought a more uh, loss of uh, life than ordinary, okay, <laughs> than we would ordinarily put in uh, with the uh, uh, stats. But why, um, why is this happening? Uh, it's because uh, it's a good portion of young people uh, you know, sort of opting out uh, in some of the um, activities of the world, like uh, uh, there are overdose of drugs uh, um, that uh, result in death, uh, that um, is it anxiety about the world in general, uh, about uh, the loss of male sperm count on the Western world? Uh, is it uh, is it the fact of uh, um, people moving around in job searches uh, that um, give rise to uh, contribute at least to the rise of divorces? Um, and the scattering of families in general. Um, could, uh, but could this falling birth rate have anything to do with the lowering of uh, 
a life expectancy. And, and I want to talk about another uh, happening that uh, um, may be contributing to the declining um, um, life expectancies of the U uh, U.S. And that is uh, that could be contributing to the anxiety of the young people is this all of this uh, weird uh, uh, stuff coming from the woke movement and the uh, U.S. and that is spreading all over the world <laughs> like I don't know uh, uh, like well whatever uh, that the um, trans movement uh, could this be a contributing factor to uh, the lower birth rate? Now, we know that the World Economic Forum is interested in uh, kind of a depopulation uh, of the, the world's population. They think there are too many people in the world, too many useless eaters, as I've heard them described, by the Economic Forum. And what is there about the trans movement that uh, is in such a furor? It's like it's a, a heated desire uh, for the uh, school system in the United States to get this trans movement going, to start talking to little kids in very, very early grades. Uh, do you think you, uh, you're a, so you're a boy, uh, but do you think you, uh, this, do you ever feel like a girl sometimes? Do you ever think that, well, maybe it's possible that you actually could be a girl? Or uh, for little girls, uh, it's, uh, you know, they, uh, little girls, a lot of little girls are tomboys. And most little girls are tomboys. They're, they like to do a lot of uh, uh, kind of rough and play, as little boys do. Uh, well, do you think maybe you might actually be a little boy? And what is this? What is this? What are they inviting the children to do? when they're inviting them with these kinds of questions. Uh, what are they looking for as a good outcome? Well, a good outcome is the little girl or the little boy decide, well, yes, probably I am a trans because this will mean if this is reinforced through the years, that little boy, that little girl, uh, will start thinking they're the opposite. And they will, if they go through the entire procedure to the end of that, what the trans people are after who are pushing this, the Charles Schwab, you know, the, uh, no, Charles Schwab. I always try to call him Charles. I'm thinking of King Charles, but King Charles too. Char uh, Klaus Schwab, uh, George Soros, Bill Gates. They're very interested in depopulation. So the, uh, uh, the, the final outcome of the little boy or the little girl that they have conditioned as babies practically, practically to think that being the opposite sex or uh, being going from one to the other is trendy. They get attention and it makes them get noticed and uh, they think they're special and people treat them like they're special. What they're actually specializing in is castration. That's what the World Economic Forum is after. After It's more castration. Uh, that less useless mouths to feed. They want half the population 
for their uh, their own pleasure to be gone, to be gone. It's too many people, too many people, too many people. They just want a greener world for themselves and their pleasures, and they wish the other, at least half of the population, to die. So this is one way to work towards uh, the population is to have uh, children castrate themselves. That that'll do it. That'll uh, add to the other things like uh, um, the farmers uh, cutting down the farmers, um, and not uh, wanting them to use fertilizer, and not uh, wanting food to grow to feed the people of the world. Uh, Bill uh, Gates buys. You know, most of the available private farmland, what's he going to do with it? He's probably just let it sit. He's certainly not interested in growing food for for uh, the population of the world. Uh, no, no. So by that time they get through uh, messing around with the food supply and decreasing it as much, so starvation will take care of quite a few of the other people. Maybe they can think of something else. Maybe there is another uh, pandemic on the horizon that, unlike monkeypox, won't just be kind of limited to a, to a certain population. But one that will include everybody, there'll be another pandemic that uh, make for lockdowns that will finish off the economies of the <laughs> free world. And uh, anyway, that's that's my take on the trans movement. Uh, what do you think? Leave me, leave me a comment. Do you think I'm really off my rocker? <laughs> I am off my rocker right now. My rocker's in the other room. But uh, I'll talk to you people later if you want to follow me too. Uh, I appreciate your comments. Okay. Bye.